Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be going over on how to find the area of this green rectangle here. Okay, so as you can see we have this green rectangle here. To the left of it we have a rectangle with an area of 30 meters squared. And to the right of it another rectangle that has an area of 40 meters squared. And as you can see the two lengths, these two lengths together make 9 meters. And these two lengths together make 11 meters. Okay, so where do we start? Well, let's remember the e equation for area. Area is equal to two numbers multiplied by each other, which in this case, I'm going to make them variables x and y. You can make them l and w for length and width or whatever you would like. Okay, so we have x and y. So we need to find these length values. And the first one, the length values for the rectangle I'm going to find and the first one is here I'm going to name this x and the second one is this length value which is just equal to this which is y okay so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find these length values of these two boxes so these length values and I'm going to write it in terms of x okay so this length value of 30 meters squared is equal to, not 9, because 9 goes over it, but it's going to be 9 minus x. Because as you can see, this whole thing is equal to 9. And then we take away x right here. And this is what is left over, 9 minus x. And now, on the other side here, this is the same thing except it's this time it's 11 minus x because this is 11 this whole thing and then just subtract the x okay so now let us write equations for this for these two boxes so we're gonna have let's start with the 40 meters squared first first side length 11 minus x make sure to put it around parentheses because we're multiplying times y is equal to 40 because the whole area is 40 and now for the second one 9 minus x times y still because it's the same that length side length is the same is equal to 30 okay you can see here so now we have these two equations we're going to try let's change this equation to put into terms of at, terms of y so we have y equals something and then we can plug that into this equation okay so let's change this equation to get y by itself so in order to do that divide by eleven minus x okay divide that so then that's going to leave you with y is equal to 40 over 11 minus x okay so always when you have a variable in the denominator you want to make sure that your variable does not make the denominator equal zero because if the answer and to this question would make the denominator zero we wouldn't be able to do that because you know the denominator is not allowed to be zero when dividing because you can't divide by zero right so in this case x would have to equal 11 for the denominator to be zero so 11 minus 11 is zero so let's just make sure real quick that the answer is not 11 so if we look here we have 11 minus x equals 11 is 0 times y is still equal to 0 is equal to 40 which is not true so we don't have to worry about the denominator equaling 0 here okay so now we have this equation and this is y equals 40 divided by 11 minus x so you can see we have y equals and here we have a y 
meaning we are able to plug in this part of the equation for y and substitute it, okay? So let's do that. So it gives 9 minus x times y is equal, uh, not times y, sorry, times 40 over 11 minus x is equal to, still using this equation, 30. So now these two are being multiplied together, so we can just put them all on top. And now, how do we want to get rid of the 11 minus x on the bottom? We want to multiply on both sides by 11 minus x to get rid of that. Notice how we only have x terms left in our equation, which is good, so we can solve for x by itself now. So I multiply by 11 minus x on both sides to get rid of the denominator here. And that will give me 9 minus x times 40 is equal to 30 times 11 minus x. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute the 40 into here and the 30 into here. So that will give us uh, 360 minus 40x is equal to 330, 30 times 11, minus 30x. Okay, so now we want to get x by itself, right? So I'm going to add 40 from this side to take it out and bring it to this side to put the x together. And at the same time, I'm going to subtract 330 from the other side. So we only have x remaining on the right side, okay? So that will give us this 40x to cancel out, this 330 will cancel out. So we have 360 minus 330 equals 30 is equal to 30, negative 30 plus 40, or you can also write it, say it as 40 minus 30x, 40x minus 30x equal to 10x. Okay, let me rewrite this here. 30 is equal to 10x. Uh, now, all you got to do to get x by itself is divide by the coefficient, which is 10. And that will give us with x is equal to 3. Okay, so now we have found the x value, so the one side length for our rectangle that we're trying to find. And now we're going to try to find the second value. So now, as you can see, we have x solved already, which is 3. Now we just need to solve for y. So to solve for y, we can use any one of these two equations to get the area of either one of these rectangles. I'm going to use the left one, 30 meters squared. But you can use any. You could use either. You could also use this one. Okay, so to find the area for the 30 meters squared, if we remember, it was 9 minus x times y is equal to 30. Okay, we have a value for x. So I'll make that 9 minus 3 times y is equal to 30. 9 minus 3, of course, is 6 times y equal to 30. Now just divide it all by 6 to get y by itself. 30 minus 6 is what? It is 5. Okay, so now we have our y value and our x value and now all we have to do to find the area of this is multiply them together okay so the area is equal to x this is 3 times y which is 5 as seen here and 3 times 5 is 15 which means our final answer is 15 and don't forget to add your units the units here is meters squared and this is our final answer okay so this green area here is 15 meters squared thank you everybody for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video bye